Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Here are your afternoon headlines for Friday, June 21st. A judge accepted a man's plea deal which dropped a murder charge connected to a fatal 2022 stabbing. A judge sentenced Floyd Bates Jr. to 30 years in prison after accepting his plea deal. In the deal, Bates pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and battery by means of a deadly weapon. In October of 2022, police found 34-year-old Margaret Surrey in the 79 900 block of Decatur Road with a cut to her throat, which killed her. The Huntington County Coroner's Office identified the man who died in a crash yesterday morning. He's been identified as 27-year-old Jordan Collins. The crash happened around 5.30 yesterday morning at State Road 9 and County Road 900 South in Huntington County. According to the coroner, a car driven by Collins' father, 55-year-old Kyle Collins, crossed the center line for an unknown reason and hit an SUV head-on. The coroner says both men were not wearing a seatbelt. Kyle Collins was transferred transported via helicopter to a hospital. Medics transported the driver of the SUV to a hospital. Her condition is unknown. Fort Wayne police believe a crash that sent a woman to the hospital with life-threatening injuries was due to, quote, showboating. Police say just before five last night, the woman was doing tricks on a motorcycle when she lost control and hit another vehicle in the 3100 block of North Clinton Street. She crashed into a pole and medics took her to a hospital in critical condition. We're told she was not wearing a helmet. Coming up later today, we are going to a villa to learn more about a new shop that will be selling mini cheesecakes. Look for that on Wayne.com later today. And right now on Wayne.com, learn about a local company that makes birthday bags for special people. And looking at the last headline, it is another 15 Fury Alert Day. So let's head on over to weather. All right, again, that excessive heat remains into effect as well as that high humidity. Plus, we are going to keep an eye on some weekend showers. Giving you a look at Storm Tracker right now, things looking pretty quiet. A little bit of cloud cover for us, but nothing too much. We are seeing plenty of sunshine today. If there are any showers that pop up today, it's very scattered and very small. You can see our chances are very small as well. Temperatures reaching the mid 90s today with plenty of humidity to go along with that. Tin caps in town today. Day. Looking like a very warm evening for any games. Make sure you're staying hydrated if you're heading on out. Again, our 15 Fury Alert Day is issued for today and tomorrow, and that is due to the excessive heat and humidity. We'll see a relatively small cold front Saturday into Sunday morning that could bring some showers and storms. It'll drop our temperature by 10 degrees. However, we will still feel that humidity on Sunday. We'll feel a break from the humidity on Monday with our temperatures at mid 80s. However, we will jump back up to warm temperatures on Tuesday with lower 90s. And then we see another cold front move into the area with temperatures dropping back down to the mid 80s on Wednesday with some showers and storms. And then we see temperatures even on out the next day with another increase in temperatures as we head into next weekend. Still a little far out, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. But just remember, uh, still a lot of warmth heading our way, still a lot of humidity, so make sure you're taking proper precautions to stay hydrated and safe. We will see you back here at 4 p.m. In the meantime, have a good afternoon.